Now in Jerusalem by the sheep pool, there is a place with the Hebrew name Bethsaida. Its five porticos were crowded with sick people, lying there blind, lame or disabled, waiting for the movement of the water. There was one man who had been sick for 38 years. Jesus, who knew the man had been sick for a long time, said when he saw him lying there, Do you want to be healed? Sir, the sick man answered, I do not have anyone to plunge me into the pool once the water has been stirred up. By the time I get there, someone else has gone in ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, pick up your mat and walk. The man was immediately cured. He picked up his mat and began to walk. The day was a Sabbath. Consequently, some of the Jews began calling up the man who had been uh, cured. It is the Sabbath, and you are not allowed to carry that mat around. He explained, it was the man who cured me, who told me, pick up your mat and walk. This person who told you to pick it up and walk, they asked, who is he? The man who had been restored to health had no idea who it was. The crowd in that place was so great that Jesus had been able to slip away. Later on, Jesus found the man in the temple precincts and said to him, Remember now, you have been cured. Give us, give up your sins so that something worse may not overtake you. The man went off and informed the Jews that Jesus was the one who had cured him. Glory to
So these are the symbols that these children have chosen. Now, there is more work to be done because our children are going to come up for that renewal of baptismal vows. When they were brought to our Holy Church for Holy Baptism, for the beginning of their journey of faith, they were brought by their wonderful parents, godparents, to be baptized, to become part of this beautiful Christian community, sons and daughters of our Lord. But now, they are that, at that age to renew their baptismal vows by themselves that they love the Lord and they will continue to serve Him. Come on up, children. Do you acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins 
And do you expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come? Yes, I do. Blessed be God who wishes that all be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Blessed is he now and ever and forever. Special crosses, pens. For you to wear. We get a lot of presents at St. Gregory's. <laughs> And then, 
we have icons of the mystical supper, the last supper, and these also were made by our parishioner, Mr. John Taffer. We've got space there, Ava, you can carry it? There we go, good job. Please stand. Grant the Lord to your servants, Addison, Christopher, Lewis, Julia, Ava, and Jackson, peace, health, and happiness for many happy and blessed years. Amen.